what's the word it's your girl brie back at again with another bomb ass video before i start i would like to say hello kings and queens how are you how have you been i miss you guys a little update on my life i don't know who i am and with that being said let's the sun right goes the sunflower will follow sunflower soul their eyes were watching god Today i'm going to be talking about um Feminine things, controversial topics regarding the nipple. I would like to first start by saying hashtag free the nipple. All right. So as I'm going along with this video, I want you guys to just be mindful. These are all my personal views, all my unpopular opinions. No, I do not care how you feel about my opinion. Everything I'm saying is coming from the heart. And I truly mean and believe these things. So, number one, I'm going to start by saying that I've always been a free girl. Even from when the time my little nubs were going. Never wore bras. I remember being in eighth grade and I would change for gym and everybody would just point and laugh. They'd be like, oh my gosh, you need to put a bra on. And I used to just be so confused because like, literally I had like doorknobs. Like, they were just little nipples. And I'm just like... Why y'all so offended by nipple? Like, we all have them. Nine times out of ten, those girls' titties were way bigger than mine. But ever since then, it's always just stuck to my mind. Like, why the fuck do I have to wear a bra? And so I did not purchase, I did not own a bra until my mother took me into pink one day and bought me five of, of five or so. Guess what? I still have those five or so bras. Do I wear them? Hell no. The only time I wear bras is if I'm going to a job interview. Nine times out of ten, if I could pull it off, not going to wear a bra. And that's just that. My name is Brianna, and I don't wear bras. I don't wear bras because they con they're constricting. They make me feel uncomfortable. Like, I feel like I don't even have enough boob to hold up with a $50 fucking bra. Bras are not even cheap nowadays. A good bra going to run you about 50 bucks. And I don't have 50 bucks for nubs. I don't. I just refuse to spend money on something that this tank top does perfectly fine. I've been told all the time, like, you're just going to wear that? Oh, where's your bra? Oh, my number one pet peeve. Ew, where's your bra? That's so unladylike. I'm sorry. What? Like, me having titties is unladylike. I don't agree. I strongly disagree. If you're a little bitty titty committee out there and you want to wear your boobs out, wear your boobs out. Girl, don't let nobody tell you it's unladylike because nine times out of ten, they're coochie stank. And that's period. <laughs> if you have huge boobs or you're told your boobs are so huge, oh my God, put a bra on. Your boobs are sagging, oh my God, put a bra on. Boobs come in all shapes and sizes, and this is what makes you a woman, love. Cherish your boobs. You know niggas, is that niggas and females are out here paying lots and lots of money for what you were born with. I got women with Zs getting boob reductions because they wish they had little old DDs. Then I got women with little old DDs that's paying $50,000 to get Zs. And you know, if that's what floats your boat, fine by me. All I'm saying is love your body. All I'm saying is don't let anybody tell you what to do with your body. All I'm saying is be authentic and love what you love. What you love As long as your heart is in it, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm by all means. Be comfortable in your own skin. Don't let this world try to belittle you or, or slut shame you. And, and on to slut shaming. Women out here dogging niggas and niggas out here being straight bitches like, it's, 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 it's crazy how the tables are turning and I don't want to just bash nobody. So of course I'm not going to bash anybody, but we have to do better. Like a man can say, I just want to fuck. Right. But when a woman say, I just want to fuck nine times out of 10, she's a hoe. And then, and then you got the fake ass woke people that say, well, she should be a, she should be more conscious of her body. She should care more about the souls that she's taking in. What about the souls he's taking in and the souls he's giving and transforming? What what about those souls? You know, we we all have souls. Not just not just women. This world has a strange way of enunciating values and morals. It has a strange way of 
of of computing what's right and what's wrong a woman is told that it's wrong for her to sleep with three men right it's wrong for her to sleep with three men in three months but it's right for her to stay in an abusive toxic relationship for three months and take the same dick that's okay right then it's wrong for a woman to lay down with a man who has children but if that woman was to get pregnant now she's a slut. Now she's a hoe. Now she needs to figure out who her baby daddy is. And all these evil ass things y'all say to women. Like, I'm not here to bash anyone. This world is so cruel. This world is so cruel, especially to the black woman. I remember being fucking in sixth grade, walking to school, getting on the bus, and old ass men are walking at me. I don't fucking like that shit. I don't. I don't like cat calls. AAA, shorty, little mama. I don't like that shit. I don't. And it's like as a black woman or a black girl, whatever you think, view me as, it really fucking hurts my heart. Like, I'm told I have to walk a certain way. I'm told I can't dance and listen to my music because it's inviting. I'm told that I'm just going to have to deal with the stares, that I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. I should take it as a compliment. What? I fucking disagree. It's not a compliment to me. It's not. It's, I feel fucking disgusting. It's like you. I'm walking outside and you're undressing me with your eyes. Like, I, I can see you. The, 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 like, and it's like, y'all getting ruthless. Y'all getting worse. You can't say no. You can't say you got a man. You can't say you gay. You can't. No, it's always a comeback. It's always a fucking comeback. And it's easy to say as a fucking man. As a man, as a male, it's easy to say, walk away. Ignore him. But not if it's seven niggas. Y'all don't know how it feels as a fucking black man or white man or Asian man. A man, period. You don't know what it feels like to walk down the street and you're holding your head down purposely. Or you're mugging on purpose so people won't talk to you. Like, that's not okay. Stop fucking telling women that it's so... Stop telling women that we should be ashamed of our fucking bodies. Stop telling women that it's our fault for getting raped abused snatched that we should be stronger what and i'm not saying i'm not fucking saying that women who get beat and stuff like that i'm not saying they're not weak i understand you know that you are weak to that man i understand that but instead of fucking calling this woman out her name dumb stupid all of that was terrible names help her reach out and help her like you y'all see y'all friends in these toxic relationships and you're either the cheerleader or fuck that nigga, fuck that nigga, fuck that nigga. But what if she really can't just say fuck that nigga? Because she got emotional ties to this man. What if she can't then? Is she still dumb then? When she's literally just battling her mind and her heart or that constant battle. I don't think a woman should be called dumb for that. I think these emotions we carry, these emotions that we are wrapped in, we we can't we can't control it. I mean, I can't. I'm not gonna say we can't control it because it takes a lot of a strong woman. It takes a lot of self discipline to control it. But we're fucking 18, 19, 20 years old. Like, no matter how I know your soul may feel old. I don't know who I'm talking to right now. I know your soul may feel old, but you're still young. You're still young. So you still learning. You still, you're, trust me, we are still learning. We don't, whatever you think you know, you don't know shit. Every day is a new thing to learn, a new opportunity to learn, a new opportunity to grow, a new opportunity to step into your light. And today I'm going to introduce you guys to a fucking kid. So all my ladies out there who have never heard of a fucking kid, here we go. Number one to the fucking kid. Get you a candle. Get you a nice little candle. Mine's is uh, Fresh Rain, my beautiful low. Got it for me. It smells amazing. And you just light it. Find a steady place to sit it. Let it go. Incense. Now, these were $169 at the Beauty Supply, but you can get them from all over. They got really, really good ones that run about $10 a box. And then they got these ones that are $2. Amazing. Get your little incense. Light it up. And just say, fuck you. Next. Fuck you. Next, period, period. Come on, say it with me. Fuck you, next. And that's period. That's period, ladies, okay? It's fuck you next fall. We don't have time for the shenanigans and the 
the bullshit anymore because we're focused on our minds and our divinity and loving ourselves. And sometimes to do that, you must take yourself out of the world and into your own space. Feel your space. Live in your space. Feel your aura. Be comfortable in your aura. I promise you tomorrow will be a better day. So in conclusion, free the nipple. Stop fucking slut shaming. No, it's not okay to stare and guac at a girl, no matter how old she like, is. Subscribe, share, thumbs up. Just pass it along. Each one, teach one. I love you guys as always. Oh, oh, and I'm, I'm going to leave this here. I'm, I'm going to leave it on this tip. I'm going to leave this on this tip.